Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm Manuel. So, the last time that I published something on this channel was like almost one year ago. It was about MLflow for machine learning development. And today I'm releasing like a new playlist, um, a new version of this playlist, MLflow for machine learning development, in which I introduced some changes. The most important one is that I'm using Jupyter Notebook format to run the examples, to run the code, because I believe that by running smaller pieces of code, the understanding could be better and maybe following the videos is going to be also um, easier. At least I hope so. Um, even though I tried to use um, the latest version or one of the latest version of the MLflow SDK, many of the concepts that we explored in the previous playlist remain similar. Uh, experiment tracking, creating runs, experiments, model registry. Uh, they are very similar, the concepts. Uh, for this playlist, I elaborate a bit more about aliases because the previous approach in which we were using the stages were deprecated, right? So it's important to, uh, to start moving to aliases. Uh, I could say that the most important part uh, compared to the previous playlist is the introduction of the uh, evaluation framework that MLflow provides. So there is a new method called mlflow.evaluate that we can use to evaluate the machine learning models. Um, I am not covering all the features of this framework because, for example, mlflow provides some metrics and features to evaluate uh, prompts or LLM, LLMs. But for this playlist, I focused mostly on traditional machine learning, like classification and regression problems. LLM could be like a topic for a different playlist. So if you already saw, or you already watched the previous playlist, you maybe want to skip all this part about um, experiment tracking and move to the evaluation part, which is like the new part compared to the previous playlist. So I hope you enjoyed this new playlist. Um, if you have any feedback, please provide it in the comment section. Um, thanks for watching this video. See you next time.